Hello everyone, welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video. My name is Legend Status. And today we are going to do an alpha pack opening. I'm going to open up the mute protocol packs. I decided it would be reasonable to do that now instead of saving it to the alpha pack because alpha pack is just different types of weapons, skins, and character outfits, charms, and that. And the mute protocol has 26 that is total. I did grind out a lot of them. I ended up having enough R6 credits. I bought the last 5 to 10. I don't remember how many I had left. So I did get it. The mute protocol, had, there is still 17 hours out. If you got, But this was re being recorded on Sunday. So this will be a, on a Monday video. So by the time you guys get this video, the protocol will be over. But I am doing an pack opening for you guys to show you what to expect when you get all the packs I mean if you, you can go to your collection and it'll show you all of everything you can get but I might as well just make a video on a pack opening so there's 26 of them so it's gonna be a short video I have 28 alpha pack openings but that's not gonna be open till later oh there will be more alpha packs eventually coming out so I will have a big alpha pack opening at the end of season two if and at the beginning of season three so we'll start with the mute protocol ones this is the first pack out of the 26 pack which is gonna be good I guess I mean nothing's gonna be duplicate so it's not gonna matter ooh that animation though that's cool. Ying Epic Uniform. Chrome Person. Again, if you haven't watched my two previous gameplays of Mute Protocol, it has all of the gameplay skins for them. And it also has the headgear and their gun skins as well. Open our second pack here. That animation looks sick. I'm not going to lie. That's the universal weapon skin. It's Newton 2000. It's an alright weapon skin. Not one of my favorites. I prefer black eyes, is what I like. But that's not for an epic skin. That's actually really cool. That's neat. Not gonna lie. I mean, I, I haven't looked at the collection, so I don't know all of them I mean besides the operators that there is so that's the only thing I know this is a legendary and it is Capkin's headgear again I have most of the elite skins so most of these operators won't be shown with their skins but for ones I don't have they will another epic Yo-Yo and Mira's Vector 45. Like, black, it looks like. With, like, spots, specs. Not bad, just kind of plain black. It looks actually really good. Tempered Steel. Looks really good, actually. I like the Universal one, though. And we got a gold, or not a gold. Uh... Legendary for Oryx, and I will use this for Oryx. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. His headgear and body gear it is probably my favorite as a defender. I'm not gonna lie. I like his head uniform and all that. And Amira's body. Again, I have her elite skin, so I probably won't wear it. So, I apologize again for that, but that's just how it is. Vigil though, I like his too. I'm not a big fan of how his face was, but I like his armor, his body armor basically. Carbon copy. Got another legendary Ying's head skin. It j robot antenna. It looks like a. Oh, I can't think of the movie what it's called, where Will Smith is in it and he's. Has all these ro like he's chasing us down this robot and he's like a cop or something and then he's like a s intelligent 
robot. I can't think what the movie's called. I mean, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I Am Robot, I think is what it's called. And Will Smith plays in it. And it's that's what Ying's face looks like. Like one of those robot beings. Okay, let's get to the next one. I'll quit talking about movies. Let's open this up. A rare... Ying 612. I think that's her shotgun. I never use. I don't ever use her shotgun. I use her LMG. I mean, it's not bad. I just don't like the. I don't know, brown, light brown, orange color to it. I would look like she either made it solid black or something. It's an okay. It's not the greatest so far. Another rare. Universal Charm Retro Toy Bot. Huh. Legendary Jackal's Headgear Modular Mind. Uh, it's a, I didn't play Jackal a lot in the Mute gameplay, so I didn't really pay attention. But just going off of it now. I have no clue <laughs> what to say about it, honestly. I don't know. We'll have to see what it looks like with the body gear. And it has, like, a stupid sticker on the back, too. Send it back to recall. Another legendary... Lion. I like lions. His gold. Lion's gold. I think lion attacks on his attack... For the attack operator is my favorite one to see. Unless, no, maybe there's one. Who else had it? I can't remember who else had one on the attack side. But I like lions. I can't remember if who else had it on the attack. An epic, epic shotgun for the SAS operators and warden. I actually like that. Hammered rod. It actually looks sick. Not gonna lie, that looks really sick. This reveal is an epic for smoke. I don't think I ever played smoke in the protocol. But that looks sick too. Dude, that uniform looks sick. Oh not smoke, it's mute. That's why mute wasn't on there. But dude, that is sick, I'm not gonna lie. Mute's outfit looks sick, and that is the operator for my thumbnail the last video. That's who the operator was. But that, that looks really sick, I'm not going to lie. I may use this over the Elite skin. That looks really cool. Open up another, it's a rare. And Jackal's Assault Rifle. I'm not a big fan of... Eh, it's, it's not too bad, but it looks like they taped the edge, like that piece. The barrel part is falling off, so they had to use tape to hold it up. Is what it looks like. And they put duct tape on the butt end of the gun, too. Not one of my favorites, honestly. I mean, there is there's a variety of, like, off colors, like light shade colors. It's not my favorite, though, so far. It's not. I mean, it's not the least favorite, but it's not my favorite. The charm is gonna be the least favorite. No one wants a stupid charm. Now they're epic. See, bolted frame. I like his headgear with headgear with his uh, body. It looks sick, in my opinion. I like it. Not gonna lie. Legendary. I don't know how many you get. I mean, it'll mean the collection will be different. It'll tell you everything. I'm not a big fan of mirrors, though. It looks like her front end is, ba or her face basically is the front end of a car with the headlights and the grill of the car. That's <laughs> what it looks like to me. Another epic. Capcan and Chachanka's 
919 I actually like that like green and that yellow or teal and yellow that actually looks sick I'm not gonna lie this is a good pack opening honestly from the previous ones I wasn't too I mean I didn't play much of the previous ones or get all of those because I wasn't really into that but this actually looks really sick I think they did well with the this type of gameplay with the packs. Another epic for Jackal. See, I don't know. This looks like it would be normal body skin or body for him. It's not like futuristic in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Jackal's action. Honestly, Jackal is probably my least favorite operator from the operators that get the ability to ha be futuristic we get another epic here uh... manufacture suit I, th I don't know what to say about this one honestly I'm not Thrill. This gray, green, and yellow. I don't know what to say. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not bad like jackals, but I don't know. It, it just looks weird to me. Got a legendary again. There's mutes, copper helmet. And I like. I like. It is sick. His uniform was sick. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw it. I may play it, use this over his uh, elite skin. Maybe I'll do a lot of the operators over their elite skin. I'm not sure though. I I hardly well I do, I've been playing mute quite a bit honestly, but not enough to where he's like a top tier operator for me. I think there's five packs left. The rare. MP5. I have black ice for it, so nothing's gonna be. I mean, it's not that bad. It matches Oryx's body, basically, but he's MP5 no matter what. Nothing's changed in my mind <laughs> for those guns that have black ice. Another epic Lions LMG, I think this is what it is. Well, maybe this is an assault rifle. All gold? That is not too bad. Honestly, I actually like it. It's pretty cool. Another epic Vigil's gun. I like Vigil's gun in this game. In the game, it looked really cool. I mean, it it does look like people had to hold up the back side of the gun, the butt end of it, the stock of it. Actually, is what it's called. Had to hold up the stock. It looks like they had tape it on to hold it up. But I like his uniform, like his gun, like Oryx's uniform. It's and all in all, Ubisoft did great with this one with the packs. Honestly, the gameplay was kind of different. I mean, I know they want to try to show the future and like get more young people involved into the game, but. It wasn't one of their best gameplays, in my opinion, that they've had as an event, but they did they knocked it out of the ballpark so far with the pack opening. We have two left, though. Hopefully these two are really good. And I have a feeling they will be. Another epic. There's Lion's uniform. I liked his headgear and his gun. His uniform is okay. If they made it more gold-looking like tinfoil looking instead of like not all black it would have been a little bit better but it's not bad at all and this should be our last pack of the mute protocol I mean I hope it's a great pack pat, or a great thing, item I mean they've all been great anyway so it should be good edit off with a legendary it's what you need to do and Vigil's headgear. It just looks funny to me is why I like it. That is legit. It looks like it's just a giant antenna. But if you take like the side of his face off like those screws 
right here off and like those in the antenna it looks like a little bit like C-3PO kind of like a different droid of him but I, I liked the pack open honestly I thought it was really good I think Ubisoft knocked it out of the park though with that like I said gameplay could have been a little bit better or a little bit different I guess I don't know but they did really good at the pack opening I'm not gonna lie and that's the pack opening for mute protocol I will go to the operator screen actually and sh see show you all my elite skins and what operators that had the chance to be in the mute protocol if you guys haven't seen the gameplay so for the protocol it's for your attackers that were in the gameplay we got sledge Ash, Thermite, Glaz, Fuse, Buck, Blackbeard, Capital, Hibana, Jackal, Ying, Lion, Finca, Gridlock, Nook, Amaru, and Kali, along with Ayana. Those were all of your attack operators in Mute Protocol. Again, I have all the elite skins that. As of now that all release, I just bought the Dokabi Elite skin. I have not had a chance to play with her. But that is the attacker operators for my Elite skins and who have came out. For the attack operator, Jackal, this was his headgear for your mute protocol again. I want to equip him just for you guys. I probably won't ever... But Jack always gets banned in rank, so it's impossible, or even an unrank. Well, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not the greatest, though, for Jackal. I'm not going to lie. They could have done something different for him, but it's alright. And the other one was Ying and Lion that got a pack, or were the futuristic robots for them. You got Ying's headgear. Again, I think as I am robot is what the movie's called with Will Smith in it. That's what she looks like to me. Along with her chrome person body uniform. I won't show you guys their weapons, skins, because I'll just use the universal probably on them. And then we got our friend here, the lion with his legendary gold headgear along with his not his greatest but it is okay and you know what for this guy I'm equipping his gun because I liked his gun skin it was cool having a gold gun print in this game it was sick even this wasn't too bad but I liked the gold on his And that's Lion for your Mute Protocol. Those are the only three attack operators that I don't have elite skins of because they don't have one. But those are the ones that were in the Mute Protocol that had one. And then we go to our Defender side. I have Smoke, Mute, Pulse, Doc, Rook, Capcan, Jaeger, Bandit, Frost, Valkyrie, Cavera. Echo, Mira, Legion, and Ella as the elite skin operators. We know Mute got his. I'm debating. I may use his uh, futuristic one as his operator skin from the Mute Protocol because I actually liked it. But the operators that were playable in the Mute Protocol for the end of the Mute Protocol season or event was Smoke, Castle, Pulse, Doc, Rook, Captain Tachanka, Jaeger, Bandit, Frost, Mira, Legion, Ella, Vigil, Alibi, Warden, and Oryx, and Malusi. Those, and Wamai. I forgot, Wamai was in there. Those were your attack, or defender operators that were in the gameplay. As we know, my favorite, I think, out of the whole thing was Aurax. See, there's the 
black ice for him, so I'm always going to run black ice. But I like Aurox's, uh, Oryx, Aurox, whatever. I don't know. I say them both. I liked, I liked his. His was actually pretty sick. Even Vigil's was. I liked Vigil's. Those were probably my two favorite along on the Fenner side, and then with Lion as the attacker, that was my favorite. His headgear just looked funny, was why I liked it, again, was why. But it was something that was really cool, and his body just looked insane with it, too. The others that got it was Mira, but I'm not going to use hers. And like Mute, I said they had one, and that was it. I mean, they did get guns. A blueprint for the gun. I, uh, his for his gun, I liked his gun the most. His kind of weapon skin for it. It was one of my favorite weapon skins besides the probably Universal was a all right one. That's his universal, the universal, but this is his personal one, welded nickel. It looks sick. I'm surprised it wasn't a legendary, but I like that. So I'm going to use show you guys that as well for him. And yeah, that's what basically Mute Protocol was about. I will have a season three, like, kind of patch note talk about preview type deal come in out probably next week or two again to remind you guys but it is getting close to season three starting in the end of season two ending also let me know in the comment section what you think will be the next elite skin for attacker or defender i think tachanka and castle are due for an elite skin and you may be asking why they're a useless operator. Yes, they are useless. In a case, well, Chachanka is a little bit use is useless in my opinion. Castle is somewhat not. It slows down a rush, but these two operators have been out when the game first came out. Him and Castle both deserve it. And I'm not saying they don't need it right away, but they do need it at least next season. I think they deserve one just because they've been out the whole season, or been out not been out the whole season, been out since the game's been released, and haven't been a DLC operator. Another one that deserves it, in my opinion, I mean Monty's Monty, you're not gonna, yeah it's the same as Montaigne, but we call him Monty. He necessarily doesn't deserve one, but he does just because he was out from the beginning of the game being released. And another one who I think deserves one is Buck. And he was a DLC, but his partner Frost has one, so you feel like Buck deserves one as well. But if I had to predict one that wasn't those two, my prediction would be a Ying. Or a Maverick would be my prediction for the attackers if they had to get one. And then for my defender prediction to get one, my guess is I'm not, I would say probably Mozzie would be one. And I would think Vigil would be an option. for uh do for an elite skin if they decided to do it that way but i still think the operators that have been out since the game's been released deserve it as well anyways guys i'm gonna end the video there i'm not gonna drag it on too long i will have some alpha pack opening later on in september for you guys coming out but it is the end of the mute protocol event by the time you guys watch it, it will be over. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video there. The end of the Mute Protocol series is over. It is ending. And when you guys see it, it will be 
officially done with but there is I did get the pack open for you guys all the skins all of the charms etc it was a good experience not the best but it was a great experience it's pack opening just topped it off anyway guys I want to thank you guys for watching again remember to like comment share subscribe and hit that notification bell for your next video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.